It's the first day of 2023, and you know what I want to do. I want to go look for Pokemon cards. I'm at Best Buy. Let's go inside, see what they've got. Oh, no. Is it empty? Okay, no, cool. They've got some stuff. All right, let's see what's in here. They've got some three packs. They've got some sleeved packs here. Might have to grab some of those. That Mew V-Box is okay, but I was hoping they'd have the other one that had the Evolving Skies inside. I don't know. I think I'll just grab a few packs. Found some awesome stuff at Best Buy. They were even nice enough to give me the little Gen 9 starter cutouts. I want to check out what GameStop has now. Let's go over there. Okay, it's 1030 and GameStop is closed. Do they think that nobody gets up early to buy Pokemon cards? Opens at noon? I don't have time to wait for that. There's a Walgreens close by. Let's go over there instead. All right, I'm feeling confident about this Walgreens and I knew it. Look what they've got. One left, one more Cosmic Eclipse with the Chilling Rain double pack in here. Let's take a quick look at everything else on the shelf. Looks like they have some one-touch cases, bunch of the typical toys. Should I rescue this Squirtle? I don't think so. Okay, maybe it's a good thing that GameStop was closed because I don't know if I would have gone to Walgreens today and I found another Cosmic Eclipse pack. Now, the Target in this town is usually pretty empty. I think I was just there the other day even. Let's go check it out and see what they got. Maybe they've restocked. It's been a few days and no. No, they have not restocked. It looks like there isn't a single pack left in the whole store. Gotta check under the boxes. What's behind this? Football, okay, not Pokemon. Let's keep looking here. Maybe in the back of the store? Here in the back by the toys, looking around at a glance, and what is this right here? We've got a lunchbox. Now this is like 25 bucks. There's only five packs inside. I've opened one of these. I think I'm gonna skip on this one this time, but should I rescue the Charmander? Mm, maybe next time. Okay, Target was empty just like I expected, but there's a Rite Aid behind me, and I haven't been to this one in a minute, so let's go inside. Okay, it's not looking that great right away at the Rite Aid here. Just a theme deck here, but sometimes, yep, right behind the counter, I know what I'm gonna grab. Grabbed one of these tins from Rite Aid. Definitely paid a little bit more than I think it should have been. I think I just wanna go to one more place and that's a Walmart that's just down the street. Let's go. Okay, random ultra premium collection in the wild. They've got some ETBs, bunch of magic and sports. I think I know what I'm getting. All right, grab that Pikachu box and a few more packs at Walmart here. I think I hit enough stores for today. Let's go home and see what my first pulls are gonna be for 2023. Back in the studio, guys. Drop a like on this video if you can. And if you haven't already, follow the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Let's start off with these Best Buy packs here. I'll grab these single sleeved packs. Got some brilliant stars. There's still some major pulls that I need from brilliant stars. I can't believe that it's almost been a year. In February, it'll have been one year since Brilliant Stars has been out. It's crazy. I feel like it still just came out yesterday. But you know what? Cards on the screen. I don't want to say it out loud. I don't want to jinx it. You guys know what I'm looking for. It was an error pack. It was upside down. I'm just kidding. We got Ultra Ball, Tropius, Farfetch, Duskull, Grimer, Shinx, Bidoof, Ice Skew for the reverse, and starting 2023 off with the very first pull, we've got a Rainbow Rare Kindler. There we go. That might be a nice little, uh, nice start to the year. Maybe that's setting the tone for what 2023 is going to bring on pulls. There we go. First pack magic. Can't beat that. Second Brilliant Stars here. Maybe I should have grabbed some more Brilliant Stars. Let's get into this pack though. How crazy would it be to hit that crazy chase? Bam, here's another one for you from just two sleeved packs that I grabbed off the sleeve with a bunch of them. And I think I see something in this one. We got Gloria, we've got Barry, Piplup, Shroomish or Shamoosh, if you've seen my girlfriend open packs. I grabbed two of them there. Flygon for the reverse, I mean a Grand Bull V. All right, I'll take it. Back to back pulls from Brilliant Stars. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. Lost Origin. Once again, you know what, I'll try saying it out loud this time. I still really need to pull that Giratina V alternate art. I still really need that Aerodactyl alternate art. Why am I opening the pack so bad like this? Here we go. Let's pull this out. Now, I didn't just grab the first few sleeves on the shelf. I went and grabbed a couple that were like in the back, in the middle. Do you guys ever do that? Sometimes I think I'll just grab the first few, but then I'm like, how lucky would it be 
that it's that first pack. I gotta grab some random ones. We got Rhyhorn, Megirna, and Clefable for the non-holo rare. All right, first two packs were good. Nothing from the first Lost Origin though. Last Lost Origin pack, and I'll get into that. Silver Tempest three pack here. Always, uh, always can kind of rely on Best Buy now, actually, in my town. Bam, for having some packs. Let's get four to the front here. That target is almost always, always empty. I don't know what's going on. We got Water Energy. We've got Thornton, Bronzong, Litwick, Oddish, Love Disc, Foul Links, Poliwag, <laughs> Opal in our trainer gallery spot. There we go. Can we get a double pull? We can, and it's the Hisuian Gudra V. All right, just a V, but I'll take it. I don't think I have Opal in the binder yet for the trainer gallery. So starting 2023 off with some pulls and adding some cards to the binder. Hopefully I didn't mess up and say 2022. I'm definitely going to be writing that on a lot of things for a while. Here we go. Three pack of Silver Tempest here. Now I will say this forever. Even if it's just true to me, but my personal best luck is always in these three packs. Let's dump all this out here. I've definitely opened up a whole bunch that have been completely empty, but I've opened some that have had some pretty crazy chases in there too. Let's get this Pikachu coin out of the way. Three packs of Silver Tempest here. Let's see, I probably just jinxed myself by saying how much I love these three packs, but even one good pull, bam, makes it worth it. Let's get four to the front here. I almost said three to the front. I wonder if Scarlet and Violet is gonna change it up. Do you think it'll go back to uh, three from three from the back, or do you think we'll keep doing four? We got Sandile, Finnegan, Zubat for the reverse, and Zygarde for the rare. Nothing in that first one. Got some Vulpix pack art here. Now you guys know how superstitious I am. I'm always trying to see if there's a correlation between pulls and pack art, and I can tell you there for sure isn't, but here we go, four to the front. We gotta see at least one pull from this three pack, so I can somewhat be right. Here we go, we've got Esper, Dratini, Chinchou, Meditite, Dewpiter, Drowsy for the reverse, and a Reshiram V. Okay, just a V, but I'll take it, and at least it's uh, holding me down on me saying uh, three packs are legit. Here we go, one Reshiram V going into the sleeve. Last pack here, last pack magic from Best Buy from the three pack. One of my Machamp alternate arts actually came from a three-pack blister from that exact Best Buy. Bam, there you go. Let's get four here. Hopefully something better than at least a hollow, but one V out of three, I'll take it. If we can go two for three, I'll be even happier. We got Venomat, Dewpiter, Spinda, Unidentified Fossil for the reverse, and of course, it's just a hollow Articuno for the rare. All right, let's set these aside. I think after Best Buy, I tried to go to GameStop and they were closed. I was going to wait around for them to open up, but I really didn't want to. Let's get into this kind of overpriced Mimikyu V tin here from Rite Aid. Definitely a place that I don't that often go to to check for cards, but every once in a while they have some stuff. These tins, I think, should only be like $14 at the most, but they're going for $17 there, $16.99 or something like that at Rite Aid. Let's see what packs are inside here though. I haven't opened this tin in a while. Let's get you a code card, bam. The Mighty Mysterious Tins. It looks like they've updated these because I don't remember Brilliant Stars being in there in the first time. So we got Brilliant, Fusion, and an Evolving Skies. Okay, I was definitely not expecting that. I did not know that they put Evolving Skies in the new Mighty Mysterious, Mighty Mysterious Tins. That's hard to say fast. All right, so definitely check your uh, check your right aids. But I would say try to try to find out how recently. Oh no, they gave us the backwards bad code for Fusion Strike. Let's just go right through this pack. Uh, oh, and even with uh, even with the wrong code, we had a Hollow Rare inside. Pretty cool. Check with the right aid though. Ask them uh, how recently they got this shipment. If they've been sitting around for a while then maybe they won't have this inside, but I'm assuming now that the uh, the new ones of these showing up have one Evolving Skies inside. But like I said, for $17, I don't know. I mean, Fusion Brilliant, there's definitely a chance for some big pulls in there. Maybe it's sort of worth the price. Let's see, we've got Staryu, Burmy, Carablast, Drudgeon for our reverse. <laughs> 
from Rite Aid? Are you kidding me? The Luminion V alt art from the Rite Aid tin, and it's actually looking pretty decent on the centering too. Let's look at the back. Maybe just a little bit off center there, but I don't care. This is going right in the binder. What a way to start off 2023 alternate art pull from Rite Aid, from one of the most random tins that I've definitely left on the shelf a whole bunch of times, and there's still an Evolving Skies pack in here. Okay, low key wish I would have bought more than one of those, but let's see what's in this Evolving Bam. I think that was one of the older codes for Evolving Skies, which is kind of interesting. Maybe they've had these tins updated for a while. We've got Switching Cups, Q to Fly, Applin, Sableye, Nicked, Bergmite, Skip Loom for the reverse, yeah, and the Gigalith for the non hollow rare. Okay, I'm gonna save the Cosmic Eclipse for last. Let's get into what I found at Walmart here. Walmart was, wasn't looking as stacked as they normally are. Grabbed some Silver Tempest sleeves and I grabbed this, oh, Oh no, is it like glued in there? Look at that, it's like really, really glued. It's glued onto the top. There we go. Also grab that Pikachu box, but Silver Tempest sleeves. I feel like I haven't hit anything too, too crazy from the single sleeve packs yet. So let's see if we can find something cool, an alternate art, maybe some of the trainer gallery, uh, what I'm still calling the character secret rares, even though that's not really what they're called. We've got Honchcrow, Ninetales, Dreepy, Volpix, Emo Emolga, Chimico, Bunnery, Finnekin for the reverse, and a Rainbow Superior V-Star. Okay, this is the second time now that I've pulled this Rainbow Rare, but I'll take it. And honestly, centering, centering is looking a lot better on this one than the first one I pulled. But once again, it's got that like pixely TV static kind of extra layer there on it. Pretty cool, a little different from what the rainbow rares used to look like, but alternate art in a rainbow rare start in 2023 off right. Let's keep it going here. A couple more sleeves, Pikachu box, and then I'll end the day with some Cosmic Eclipse. I really can't believe I've been finding that many Cosmic Eclipse packs too. Bam, another code for you. Let's get four to the front real quick. I really like doing the card trick, guys. I like to get to the end of the pack and see what's in there. I don't wanna just swish through all of them. We got Metatite, Chin Chow, Toracat, and Frostlass for the rare. Two more packs here, two more chances for something crazy to happen from Silver Tempest, but you know what? I might have might have already grabbed it there with that rainbow rare. Bam, another code for you. Haven't seen, oh, I was about to say, haven't seen a trainer gallery today, but we pulled the opal. Let's see if we can get another one. We got Fletch Render, Dreepy, Volpix, Emo Emolga, Chimico, Bunnery, no trainer gallery, and non hollow for the rare. Okay, last of the single packs here of Silver Tempest. Then we'll rip in that Pikachu box that has two Evolving Skies inside. Crazy that they're still shipping that with two Evolving. Let's get this code out of the way and let's get four more to the front. Really excited to get into that Cosmic Eclipse pack too. It's, it's crazy. I've hardly opened any Cosmic Eclipse, but I feel like I've had some really decent pulls. We got Murkrow, Swablu going into the Rayquaza, VMAX, black and gold from the Trainer Gallery. And I'm already seeing behind it, no double hit, but that's okay. Honestly, way more pulls than I was expecting. Really great way to start the new year. Rayquaza VMAX going into the sleeve. And let's open up now this Pikachu V box. All right, inside the Pikachu V box, you're gonna get a Pikachu V, imagine that. And this Mimic U promo right here, along with the code card, bam, we'll set these aside. I'll drop the Pikachu V into a sleeve, and then once again, for the millionth time, what am I going to do with these jumbos? I can't keep buying jumbo binders. Pokemon, put figures or something back in the boxes, anything other than jumbos. Two Brilliant Stars, two Evolving Skies, you already know I'm opening the Brilliant Stars first. I think I think I've only opened maybe two or three of these Pikachu V boxes too. So I'm curious, bam, on some pulls. Hopefully they put the pulls in Evolving Skies though and not Brilliant Stars, I don't know. Here we go, Tropius. We've got Roseanne's backup, Cub Chew, Dedenne, Farfetch'd, Dust Skull with a little crimp error on top. That's cool. Grimer, Oranguru for the trainer gallery. Been a minute since we just hit a regular trainer gallery. Hiding the non hollow Electrovire for the rare. All right, let's drop you into a sleeve. Oranguru, probably the trainer gallery card that I've pulled the most 
from Brilliant Stars. Second Brilliant Stars pack here from the Pikachu box. Let me know if you guys are seeing these out at stores too. I haven't really been looking for them. I think there was one on the shelf at Tahoe Toys and Treasures a few weeks ago and someone commented that I should have looked at that and you are definitely right. I should have definitely looked at that. Here we go. Bear Tick, Collapsed Stadium, Starly, Shroomish. We've got, oh, I think there's something behind this one. Chimchar, Throw for the Reverse, Hiding the Mimikyu VMAX. All right, just a VMAX, but I'll take it. Hopefully this box isn't just a VMAX, but better than it being completely empty. Like I said, way more pulls than I was expecting today. Evolving Skies though, I don't want to say it out loud. I'm looking for what you're looking for, unless you've already pulled it. And if you have already pulled it, congratulations to you. But card on screen right now, how crazy would it be to pull it from a $20 collection box? Here we go. Time pull, Psyduck. I'm just stoked to be opening Evolving Skies though. It's getting a little bit harder to find. We've got Bergmite for the reverse yeah, and Thievel stealing our pulls from this one. All right, last of the Evolving Skies packs today. Two more packs after this one. Excited for that Cosmic Eclipse. See if we can just get at least one pull from Evolving Skies. I feel like it has been a minute. We got four to the front here, bam, and that was a newer Evolving Skies code. Not sure about the reprint on it. I feel like it definitely is a little bit lower on the pulls, for me at least, compared to the first run. But Zania's Resolve, hiding, Ugh, my Lotic for the non hollow rare. Okay, it's all come down to the Walgreens Cosmic Eclipse, little double pack here. I feel so, so lucky to have found this many of these. I have been checking a ton of stores, but still, here we go. Cosmic Eclipse and Chilling Rain, Chilling Pain. You already know I'm gonna open the Chilling Rain first. Definitely some cards that I still need to hit from Chilling. Let's, again, I don't, I've already kind of been on a roll today. Let's not jinx it. I don't wanna say it out loud. Let's see if I can grab this out of here without showing the card, or the the code BAM, and that was an old code for Chilling Rain, which I think they all would be old codes. I'm not sure if I've seen the reprint uh, code card in Chilling Rain. We've got Yamask, Mask, Snow Runt, Bounce Sweet, Cub Fu, Inke, Drizzle, look who's stuck outside in the Drizzle, and it's Gallade for the non hollow rare. All right, Cosmic Eclipse, it all comes down to you. So, so stoked on this. Really wish they would reprint Cosmic Eclipse. Look, oh, look at that. Look how easy that pack just folded open. Let's grab the code, bam, there's a code for you. And we got four to the front for Cosmic. Here we go. Would be cool to get a character rare from this one today too. We got Clay, Lily's Full Force, Palpitoad, Seal, Natu, Flabebe, Lit Leo, ah, and an Oddish in our character character gallery, character rare. It's getting so crazy. Trainer gallery. Here we go. Last pack magic. Ah, it's just a non-hollow Ursa Ring for the rare. This was a blast today, guys. I can't wait for 2023, and I cannot say thank you enough for all the support that you've shown me from the beginning of the channel up until now, all of last year. You guys are absolutely incredible. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.